Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this tutorial we will explore the highly requested Universal Cloning System, which is the highlight of our latest release. The easiest way to clone in Maverick is to select an object or an assembly and use the clone button in the toolbar. We will learn the differences between the actions clone and clone with dependencies in just a minute. The regular clone option clones the assembly, but if we move the resulting clone with the move tool we will see that both teapots share the same materials. If we modify one material, both objects will reflect the change. Let's try the clone with dependencies option now. This one clones the objects but also their materials, so they can be edited independently. You are meant to choose the option that suits your needs best in each situation. Alternatively you can use the shortcut shift and move when using the move tool to translate, rotate or scale. The shift shortcut will ask you how many clones you want to make. If we type in 3 we will end up with the source teapot and 3 clones. Like before, if we edit the teapot material all the clones will reflect the change. Should we need to edit each material independently, we can right click on the material and explode it. This will leave us with the material clones which can be edited independently. Let's delete the clones we just did and purge to get rid of any stray nodes in the scene. Let's clone again with shift and move. The materials are again the same for all the clones. If we now need to explode the material for just one particular teapot we must unfold the object in the objects panel, select its material, and select the make unique action. This action is only accessible from the objects panel because the material needs to know what object we want it to be made unique for. Now we can modify this new material for that one teapot without affecting the other ones. Alternatively you may use the shortcut Control shift and move to clone with dependencies easily. Just be aware of the explode and make unique actions in case they are needed after cloning. Let's work on a couple of practical examples. In the cosmetic sample scene, let's clone one of the tubes with shift and rotate. Let's place the clone tube where we like. Now if we want to edit its material independently we must select it and explode it. We can now alter its color without affecting anything else. Let's now clone a sticker. We will use the sticker's context menu to clone it and then drop it on the target object. Since we cloned without dependencies, the material is shared by both stickers. If we repeat the same process but cloning with dependencies this time, we will get one copy of the material for each sticker. The new clone options in Maverick open a new range of scene compositions. 
We can't wait to see what you will be able to surprise us with. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.